Previously on Total Recall. Ronald Reagan isn't dead, Charlie. That's right. You're a smart person, correct? It does run in my family. Yeah, I could tell. Piece of shit, get out of here! You said we don't watch you anymore! You can never escape your past, my grandson. Say he needs his friends as close as possible right now. Let's literally go inside of him. Brown start to the left, and straight until morning. Oh my god, there it is. This is unprecedented. Seems there was a misdiagnosis. Turns out Charlie's possibly swamp royalty. Oh my god. Young Charlie Metz, you've come a long way. You're no doubt tired and sweaty from your journey. Present those sweaty balls to me, young man. My sweaty balls? I can smell them from here. Bring them forth, and our journey shall begin. Do I have to? That's right, Charlie. Present that little beanbag to me, boy. I, I don't know. Uh, Give me a bowl and a half, for Christ's sake. Well, I, I guess I can meet you halfway. I, That's all I'm asking. Uh, Bring those Easter eggs to me. I see you've matured physically, young Max. But let's see if the old noggin matches. Been a pretty smooth road to this point. But pretty soon, we'll be as bumpy as these balls. Your trial starts today. The tribulations start tomorrow. Yeah? What Charlie, the fuck? What does your arm say? It says rent because I needed to remember to pay the rent today. I, and instead of paying rent there, today, oh, you watched... I watched Wonder Mars and the Secret of Chris Tucker. Oh. What are we talking about today? John what? Carter! So... What are we talking about? You guys always everybody gets point. Everybody mm -hmm. gets points. You didn't tell me there was winning and losing. Oh, there's uh, definitely winning and losing. Well, I mean, you can't lose really bad because he's supposed to lose, but... The name of the, I mean, I'm, there's no, no tension now, Chad. I'm things. sorry, I didn't mean that. Charlie, there's still tension. Ooh. Which side did John Carter fight on in the war? Confederates. Don. <laughs> I was gonna say he fought on the side of the green aliens. No, nope, he didn't. Why? Why yeah. did he not join up with the U.S. Army? When the his family was dead. No. When the when the Millennium Falcon yeah. crashed, More. landed into. <laughs> that desert where the hot chick picks him up. His family was dead and he didn't want to fight anymore. Right. Like he had lost the will to fight. Right. The, wh when are we going to get to the green aliens? That's Wait, the army that he fought. Was there he actually a fight at the opening? Wait, so he doesn't... His wife and his wife and like child, I think he had a son. Yep. He lost the will to fight so he joined the confederacy? No, it was... No, no, it no. Was, it, they Why did that join up with the U.S. army? Yeah. Okay, what's odd about the Martian sky? Specifically, what can you see in it? Oh, you can see Earth. Yeah, you can see Earth very clearly. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> 
Wait, what? Yeah. yeah, you can see Earth. It's like big. Yeah, it's weird. Why <laughs> couldn't? Wait, can you not that see Earth from make, Mars? Well, but you, it doesn't you make can't. any sense, especially because they show the other side of it, Earth looking like back at Mars, and it's like a dot. I mean, it's a dot, but it's still way too big. But it's yeah. still a dot. Yeah. No, and then they show the other way, and you can see fucking Earth clear as a bell. Yeah. No, well, the atmosphere, like you have to realize that the greenhouse effect on Mars Where's like makes guy? a magnifying kind guy? of. What is this guy doing? Okay, how many dark city looking motherfuckers are in this? Oh man, I have no clue. I don't even remember the dark city. Well, I'll guess things. how many? How many? How many? It's the bad guys. How many of those are like well, what is that top mean? tier bad guys? There's more. There's more than four. There's just no. like one, right? There's not more than four. No. There's one. It's 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 a British no. man. There's not one. It's there's a British man. There's three. three. Okay, there's there's the one that the points, there's the yeah. one that he fights at the beginning. He kills that guy. Yeah, it's a and that's how he ta he takes his thing and he gets to Mars. Right, that's how he gets to Mars. And there's two more left. And it, then there's Mark Strong. Mark Strong, which is a British guy. Weird looking. Yeah, it's a yeah. British man. Yeah. What do the Farks call uh, the, the Martians? The, the Farks. Farks. The Farts. The Farks. Oh, farts. What do they call the Martians? Jumpy, jumpy man. Jumpy. People. Well, like, okay, let me let me rephrase it. The native Martians that don't look like the green people. Pink. Are the red people Pinkos. the bad guys? Pinksters? Pinkos. Pink, Whitey? Pinklets. Pink. Huh? What? Whitey? No. Damn. Pilgrims. Motherfuckers. Pinkins? Deletion. <laughs> it's, it's directly related to the color of their skin. Okay. Green people? Man, you guys are overthinking this. Red, the red men. Wow, the green people are kind of racist. Yeah, they're, they're the not Americans. Great. They're not this great. The proper... I was um, going to say Sigourney Weaver. That's wrong. Do you remember why John Carter ends up fighting for... One of the sides in the movie. Not no. We're talking about once he gets to Mars, not that's the be, Confederacy or that's, the that's, fucking that's, Union. Dude, that's because there's a girl. No, involved. it's when he gets to Mars. One of the sides reminds him of his mom, and he's like, "I, I can fight for this." That's really close. Really reminds him of really his close. wife. That's no. well, that's really close. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll give it to give it to me. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. I'll oh give my it. God, to he me. gets a point. You get a point. I got a point. Wait, Wait, dude, I've already scored. So a lot So really, of it's just story. because he sees that that girl, Princess of Mars, the Princess of Mars, she's and he gets girl. and he's like falls in love with her instantly, and wants to fuck her, and then he's like, yeah, I guess I'll throw away everything for that. Does he get to fuck her? At the Look, end? I gotta tell you, man, yeah. almost. What? <laughs> Wait, I think I, no. may, I mean it's like off screen. No, I guess. they got married and they're they like, got married, but then like, but then well, anyway, we'll, like, then, yeah, we'll get there. We'll we got married off screen. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. They got married off screen. We'll get there. Man, they get space, space married. It's different. Space married. Right. That's different. Yeah. What actually ends up saving John Carter in the end? Is it that stupid dog thing that he has? Yeah, it's the dumb dog thing. Yeah. He has a dog thing. Well, it's like a Martian dog. I it don't looks, remember that shit at all. It sort of it looks like a bulldog kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's kind of like a gross bulldog. It's like a gross alien bulldog. How yeah. big is it? Oh, it's, it's pretty big. It's they, pretty big and it runs fast as fuck. They got oh, Martian yeah. dogs. Quit it! Alright, what's right. happening? Uh, We're drawing. It's your from, favorite. From memory, Charlie. Okay, well, okay. I'm just gonna draw a pair of boots. What are we okay? drawing? From memory, you have to draw John Carter's outfit from the movie featured on. The cover of the film. Oh. Mm. I've got this. This is going to be worse. It's three points. <laughs> Great. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Boom. It's not it's okay. 17. So, so Andy, Andy, Andy's pretty good. I'm digging that. He's probably a little more muscular than than Taylor Kitsch is. Like he looks like a re wrestler, maybe. He's like He-Man. Yeah, like He's He-Man. He -Man. Or, or maybe... Uh, He's wearing a harness? This looks like... Glacier? This looks from like something WCW? from like... From like dot hack sign. Blink, dude. That's, is that yeah. is something? That <laughs> Doesn't it? Maybe. Yeah. Kind of. There's like a thief character in dot huh? hack sign. I thought he had more of like a skirt thing. Like a I remember that. Like, hey, I watched like that was, fucking well, no, show. Like a, it's like a, 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 a show. A, a yeah, it's been a while. I saw it like surprise. freshman year in college. Yeah, show. Like, you get stuck right. in the He's game. Like, they have him chained to Can't it leave the game. And then. I want to say it's you more die like in the game, you die in real quality, life. Like, Class show. Mm -hmm. This looks ridiculous. This is uh, John's. This is a metaphor. Nailed it. Um, I it, mean, I mean, he's definitely he's a very, he's a very sharp character. I mean, right now you're ranking ahead of Steven, at least. Oh, I yeah. would put. Wait, what I, is, I would vote for the shark. Andy, what did you say about the spiritual well, nature of it? Shut sure. the fuck up. Okay. okay. Uh. Uh, this is <laughs> the best. This is Charlie's. Um, <laughs> he looks like the monkey king. Or what? You know, from the... the what was... King. Yeah. From, yeah, from yeah. The, the... Just 
Jack you see, a... that's a spear on his back. Wait, can I see? Then that's a fucking weird dick between his legs. Hey, I spent time on that. I'm gonna post <laughs> um, I think yours was the best. I'm gonna post that on DeviantArt later. Which one captures John Carter's Wait a minute. outfit? What about better? the thing with the dick? <laughs> I'm gonna go with the left. That one. To the left. This one. Your, yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Do I get a vote? I, no, vote. no, no. I will. I will I'll abide by the mine. court's decision and throw everything else in the garbage. Okay. Stephen Hildreth with the Billy Zane minute. <clears throat> oh shit! What does that mean? Yeah, he's not here. Where's he going? You gotta be outside. Really? You gotta be out there. We can't film that. Where's he going? Uh, Chad, that is correct. We are out here next to the interstate, next to. The railroad tracks investigating rumors of Billy Zane. We have information that he may be in this building just over here behind me in an area called the Purple F Room. Uh, so what we're going to do is try to get into the Purple F Room, investigate the Purple F Room, see what the Purple F Room is all about, and if there's time, also try to find Billy Zane. Uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna stay out here, keep digging, keep investigating, keep hot on the trail of the purple room and also Billy Zane. Uh, for the Billy Zane Minute, this is Stephen Hildreth. I'm gonna send it right back to you in the, in the studio there. Billy See, Zane we, is we have an open invitation <laughs> to Billy Zane to be on the show. Is he a famous person? So. <laughs> <laughs> no. Zane, okay, so. Movie starts. Okay, it's starting. It's, o- it's opening up right now, right before us. Right before me? Not before you. But before us, John it's opening. Carter. And there's a voiceover, and it's by someone. <laughs> who is who? Morgan Willem Freeman. Dafoe's Willem character. Dafoe. Freeman. Willem Dafoe. Morgan it's Freeman. Willem Dafoe's character. No. Flax. No, Why is it Willem Dafoe's character? Because Wait. he's his buddy on Mars. He meets him. Meets him. Because I guess. they reshot it. Yeah. Originally, the original open was the Morgan chick. Freeman. It was almost the same yeah. voiceover, but it was the Princess of Mars. That would make way more sense. Yes. <laughs> Not argue with that. Wait but a minute. Some- Princess of Mars is the title of an asylum movie. So we've seen a glimpse of Mars, and now we've come back to. 1868. We're in the USA. Okay, break it down. We're in we're in Arizona. Break it down. All right. Yeah. Arizona. Mm-hmm. Jonathan Carter. Mm-hmm. Not yet of Mars. Just of Arizona. Who shows up? All of a sudden, out Brian of the blue. Brian motherfucking Cranston. He is part of the same division that General Custard is yeah. a part General of. General Custard is in this movie. No, he's not in the movie. Colonel yeah. Mustard is in this movie? I'm glad someone made that joke. They go chasing after him because he mm-hmm. takes the he takes uh, Brian Cranston's horse. Mm-hmm. And then oh. uh, from there they run into a bunch of Apaches. God damn, this sounds, this sounds so boring. <laughs> See, this, all this sounds very boring. They end up at the cave of the spider gold thing. Weirdo, neat space cave. Could yes. have been like fun and cool. Mm-hmm. That's sweet. But that's like this whole movie. It's like, oh, just yeah. get the. I remember just get to Mars. And they get to Mars. Like, oh, well, I'm kind of bored here too. Yeah, he can jump. He can jump. <laughs> like, the guy as he's dying acts. You know, he like says the thing that transports you without saying the last word. Barsoom, yeah. and then before that, you like John Carter takes a little thing out of his hand, and then he says, "Buff." And then he goes, Bars- what? Barsoom. And then he like Bars- transports and uh, 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 he jacks out of his body. Yeah. Gets to yeah. Go there. yeah, because well, because the other guy already said all the other part. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so it's like he it's was magic. Like it's magic. In, he was putting in the coordinates, and then all he had to do was, was like, just, just, like was just press the, the button. button. Yeah. That's it. Like Neo. Yeah, you get a point for that. John Carter gets uh, yeah. captured after he realizes that he's can jump high. I remember that. Because of gravity or something. Yeah. It's like the same thing as that Spider-Man garbage. scene where Spider-Man realizes that he can like run and jump yeah, and shit. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. He gets captured by green dudes voiced by Willem Dafoe and Thomas Hayden Church. Man, Willem Dafoe is so great, guys. If he came over my house, I'd let him inside. To your house? Or your anus. <laughs> Why can't it be both? This is what you call your house. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? What happens well, when they take him back to the fucking well, he green guy base? He I'm trying to remember. To the he can't speak the language base. at all yes. at first, and then they give him like some like milk thing, don't they? That, that yeah. he drinks that. And it's then like he magic can, water. Yeah, and then he can understand. <laughs> he drinks the milk. He's it's in like, like a, a prison, right? It's like a babble fish water. This is also where he's introduced to... He's introduced to the female green chick. Do you remember her name? No. She's Willem Dafoe's daughter. The presentation of the blue thing, the blue light bullshit with yeah. the with the at, that was the original opening for the movie yeah well so that's here blue light city of helium was the opening of the fucking movie originally yeah. that sounds so much better than john carter's in arizona and some goddamn well no no that just replaced that just replaced the they replaced the, the weird thing. voiceover that explained the entire that. plot of the movie that also sounds better than that that also sounds better yeah. than that yes that's absolutely that true. is the opening to a princess of mars the movie that we didn't we're not. We the don't movie get. that's about the princess. The of movie Mars. that's kind of exciting and colorful, and there's some action. And in is it. about the princess. Of Mars. This movie does not predate the blue laser in the sky. Jesus, can we get back on course here? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Charlie, set a course. What exactly the blue light thing breaks? What was the intention of the blue light thing? The blue light thing was going to be so that they were on because. The bad guys have blue light thing. Blue light thing destroys shit. Also, it can like create power somehow. Cool. But it can also just like, like blow things up. It's like nuclear, I guess. Great. Okay. Right. And so she Princess, Princess of Mars, who's also the head of yeah, the Science Mars. Academy, wants to use it to create like an unlimited power source, you know, normal sort of like good guy thing. The Thern people like sneakily come in there and fuck it up. And then, yeah. and then it blows up. And then the guy, uh, whoever the fucking dad is, I don't remember his, I don't remember the character. The character there's name, a dad? There's a dad? There's a dad? It's there's Thanos. dads all over this it's fucking thing. Thanos thing. is the dad. And a Thanos is in the, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the dad tells him, oh, I mean, you, she's, you're going to have to get married to this crazy person now because that's the only way we're going to fix this. We have to bridge the gap between right. the two kingdoms. You can't just bow down to Zedeka. A wedding will save the city. Perhaps, but it could lose you, Bossoom. De- With no one to stop we, Zedanga, it will be the not, beginning of the end. We do you not are have the Jedi of Helium. You. you must find another way. There is no other way. Sure. Oh, weird. And so she freaks out and leaves. What, 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 what seems to be the aim of the Princess of Mars? She wants to escape because what she's realized is that she's gonna have to marry that asshole. So she's using the battle as like a subterfuge to like sneakily <laughs> escape. But while she's trying to escape, she realizes that she cares too much about her people and she has to participate and play an active role in the battle. But she still wants to escape. Final answer. <laughs> I'm gonna go with John Goldsmith on this one. I, right. I'm gonna give you a half a point. I mm. agree with this him. Is just because you went with. <laughs> What sounded right, but I agree with him on all accounts. So that means you should give me a half. Well, that point. means I deduct a half a point. He gives what, what the fuck? fuck? An A point. What, what was the question again? What is her aim in coming, like in engaging in this battle over the, over the fucking uh, uh, Tharks? To so prove there's to there's too her many dad. th's in this. He's trying, the, oh, she's and over to the prove, Thark city. Like what? What is obviously the aim of this? She's trying to prove to her dad that she's still. <laughs> I'm <laughs> still answering. I mean, isn't it to get the Tharks on their side? <laughs> to Kinda. <laughs> to win, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like that's part of it. She wants to get captured. Oh. By them. So that she doesn't have to deal with. With fucko. Getting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of like the weird <laughs> mystical cave astral yeah. projection yeah. weirdo thing. Yeah. Uh, it's, it could be played kind of funky and neat, but once they get to Mars. Shit doesn't need to be fucking deserts and boring. It should be pew, 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 whoa, you know, like, where are we? But it was just so boring. That's all it is. Well, it could be more They can fun. call it John Cardboard. It John Cardboard? <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. <laughs> you, you talk about these these adversaries, these enemies. I don't remember them at all. I know. There's no Ming the Merciless, no Darth Vader. It's like, no, oh, I don't exactly. give a fuck. Right? I remember Ming the Merciless. And, I, like, <laughs> Jay Hathora, she will, she, I mean, whatever, okay, she's, there's her midriff. And, like, oh, the, who cares? Well, they, they, like, they had no chemistry with one another whatsoever. They have to flee because Mark Strong, like, they seem like just monsters. And so, like, at one point, he literally says, I, I'm, I don't even have this in my notes, I just remember this. Make sure the girl stays alive. See what the boy can do 
I don't care what happens to the rest. Pursue them to the Aeolian plane, then overtake them and capture the Red Woman alive. The one who jumps? Let's see what he's capable of. And then the big monster goes... Oh! Oh and then God. and then all the apes just take off running. And I'm like, did he just tell him that when he screamed at all of them? Yep. He told him all those detailed see, instructions by just screaming loudly. They're, they're, a, they're a hive mind. <laughs> you, you see, in the white ape language, oh. you can get a lot of cross and just, you know, a yell. Take or, like nine points away for that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, That's really okay. bad. I Hellfire think... rains down when like the heliums show up in their ships and it <laughs> eradicate the rest of the white ape dudes. And then who comes out of the ship? Um, the dad. Some, and something and, exciting. Uh, the dad's uh, trusted advisor, Wee Bong, comes out. Wee Bong. Some so someone they have Thoris, the princess of Mars. No. Well, no, because she was right there. there. She was with him. The we guy who, who, the guy we who belong. The red guys. The yeah, red yeah, yeah, the bad guy. Yeah, the red bad leader. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red leader comes out. Red leader. Red leader comes out with the dad. Right. Mm -hmm. To the wedding. To the wedding. And yeah. then they go back. Where do they go back? Um, they to. go back to. Where do they go to? The, the palace. dad's castle. But which? Where do, where do they go? The where do city they go? of helium. No. 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 They go to the other one. They go to the other one. Bad yeah. guy town. I'm I'm a, I'm with John Goldsmith on this one. It's Bad Guy Town. Yeah, where is that? They go that? to Bad Guy Town, which they go there. what the hell is the name of those people? I don't remember. But the, um, I mean, forget it, Chad. It's Bad Guy. They town. go to Bad Guy the Town, Hyper which Spirit. John Carter wakes up, and there's a bunch of dudes there, and like making them making them have blue and red sashes isn't really like enough. Mm. For me to realize what the fuck's happening at any point in time. And we're still, to me, don't know where we are. So, if we're on Mars. No, we're in Bad, bad Guy City on Mars. Okay, that's right. Bad Guy City. Yeah. It's like saying right now we're on Earth. So? We what are. the fuck does that mean? We are. What the hell happens, happens here? Somehow he gets away, and I have no fucking idea. He just oh, jumps, he, just he, jumps um, he, he jumps a bunch. He ends up on a speeder thing. Oh, oh! Is it Mark Strong leading him away? Mark Strong. He doesn't, he doesn't try to lead him away. What he but does... He, like, <coughs> he, like, swaps. Like, they keep having this conversation. Well, they keep having this conversation when while Mark Strong, like, is, like, swapping people out because he can change forms yeah. and shit. And so he's, like... And so he's, like, walking around. Didn't even know that. And it's not even really... It's like a Bond villain type conversation, isn't it? Like, yeah, pretty much. This and is like, what so, what, so wait, wait. What is their master plan? They want to rule What Mars. they want to do. No, they want to rule everything. I know. Because that's what their plan should be. That's kind of what it we is. We will rule Mars. But, but, it, like, but, it's not, right. but it's not that fucking, like... Great. It's, <laughs> it's not that fucking great. But, it, but it's, And she will be my bride. But he, but, but he doesn't even we care about that. They don't have progeny they don't have, they don't to have, conquer the universe. They don't have any passion in it. No one does. So their plan is to get the blue thing. No. They gotta get the blue no, laser. No, because they, they have gave the blue, the blue thing. thing to the other guy. It's I gotta tell you, Chad, I'm still a little fuzzy on the blue thing, but I keep going back to it like the blue, it's the okay, one cool the blue thing. thing. The blue thing is like... Is it cool? It's like... It's like this thing. It's like that, a wicker it's, basket. It's almost like a wicker basket that what goes around your hand. Yeah. What right? the fuck? What's that game that people play where they catch a ball in a wicker? wicker? No, 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 not, not, not that. Uh, American uh, Gladiator. What's it called? He's, called, he's talking about highlight. Is that what it is? Is it a highlight? Uh, is he talking about have, like the? the this plan? So what is their plan? Not to rule Mars. The, the not be. just to rule Mars. They want to rule the like solar system. Everything. But they don't even yes. seem like they want to rule anything necessarily. They were just. Are they just fuckers? Like they just go and fuck with things? They're internet trolls? I'm gonna give a point to Charlie. This is really weird. They're internet trolls? But they're kind of like Holy internet trolls. Holy shit! What? All they, this is really weird. I'm giving a point to Charlie. But Take the point away. <laughs> paper. Look, all they do is they go in and they help the side that's losing. That's it. <laughs> Wait, so then why didn't they go to Earth like before the Civil War and... So there's some sort of implication. Because it was already shitty. So, the, so, so, right. so there's some sort of implication that they're meddling in Earth, too. Because that's the South lost because John Carter gave up. <laughs> Possibly. Who knows? <laughs> this movie gives no answers for anything. I mean, you can't explain that. This is where he has a big fight with 
The Abominable Snowman. With Abominable Snowman. Is that a bent? No. It is a white ape. And they escape. It doesn't really matter. How was that even possible? How could the Abominable Snowman? They be kill. Large? They kill. They kill. Right, they kill the Abominable Snowman. <laughs> so now Willem Dafoe has re-earned the uh, trust of his people. And he's Good. like, are you going to be my right arms again, uh, John Carter? And he's like, well, you got to kill this fuck who's going to marry my girl. And so he goes to the thing. You know, he goes to the wedding. And, of course, you know, it's a big third act wedding that's stopped by violence. And... But not by violence where somebody gets impaled by a ship. A rocket ship. A rocket fucking God. ship. Right? God damn, what and a better movie. With, with Brian May <laughs> with fucking Brian May's guitar going the whole time. What man what movie is that? Uh he's talking about Ni Mike Codger's Mike Navy Flash Cable. Which is what this should be, yeah. and then so that all all that shit goes down. He saves the day and wins the day. So now the only one on Earth that knows about any of this is, is Edgar Rice Burroughs. So I remember thinking that was somewhat fun. Yeah, like, right there. Yeah. Being, well, this and is so now that's when the Thurns show up to try and kill him, and you find out this whole thing was an elaborate ruse to draw the Thurns out so you get another medal to go back to so Mars. So you could just shoot him in the back of the head and then just grab his medallion and he's, then he's now you can go to yeah. Mars. You never called me Edgar. You called me Ned. Because he never got to actually find a medallion. How do you guys remember so much of this? I didn't. Chad just watched. He, I just watched just, it. He just said. I've it seen it like six or seven. He times. He just said it to me. That six made or seven times. Yeah, I really. I, I, I used to really like this movie until he started talking about it. <laughs> Damn. Uh, and then that's where you get guy who did Finding Nemo and Wally to uh, come in. Interesting. Hand. He had to shoot everything at least twice mm -hmm. because, and he told his he told his producers, "I'm not going to be able to get it the first time." That's the fault of, of the Pixar methodology of you do the movie once, yeah. You figure like like Wally, -E, the original version of Wally -E had where he well Wally -E gets like hurt and effed up at the end. In the original version of that, it was flipped and it was Eve, and like that made no sense character arc wise or whatever. But they just threw the idea out there. Yeah, the original characters in the comics <laughs> were nude. Well, why wouldn't the whole damn movie just end a bunch of naked people so wait, rolling around all over each other? So wait, if that's the case, shouldn't Charlie He's get points right. back for his drawing? Fuck. Yeah, can he retroactively win? Because yeah. I like that drawing. Fuck no. yeah. Like, I, I all feel, right, all right, all right. I feel Fuck terrible. Yeah. I'll take away the negative nine. Mm. I'll, Fuck give, yeah. I'll give you a one instead of a negative nine. That's fucking, fuck Pretty yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Wrap up thoughts. So I'm going to give a special uh, award um, for my spirit animal, the Prince Voltin Dive Award. What does it mean? I was supposed to have it and I queued it up. No, we can just cut to it. So we'll, just, we'll just cut to it. Well, I'll just have this playing on He's so me. old. He doesn't know. And uh, I just think that that's what we're going to do for it. We're going to the Prince of Voltan Dive Award because that's what this movie did. It dove. Dive! Oh, well. Who wants to live forever? <laughs> Die! John? You know it takes you places, and it takes you back home, but ultimately it takes you back to Mars. And I guess the movie didn't do very well. It didn't make a lot of money. Um, I haven't seen it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, we, we... How'd you get on the, the we, panel then? <laughs> we talked about it. The special award that I would give it is I would give it the uh, White Man Can Jump Award. <laughs> what else Shut did you throw in it? Damn it. Shame him. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, we're Physical not done. Physical challenge. Physical challenge. Let's do it. 
And now... Dude, don't clinch my arms. I can't move. Oh, yeah. Main yeah, yeah, yeah. event. Charlie and Goldsmith oh. versus... Oh, God. Captain Hildreth. Oh, he got, oh, he's going in there. He's going in there. Oh, for the finishing blow. And Charlie loses. Wait, they were on the other side. I thought you were doing a good job. With 23 points, Stephen Hildreth. What? What the fuck? In second place with 20. Yep. Only three behind Mr. Hildreth. Andy Hunt. All right. Who knew? Okay. You get the silver. First loser. Third place. Your last. John Goldsmith. Who's never seen the movie? Who's never even seen the movie? That was a Six joke. points. I've seen the mo- And Charlie, even, yep. with, even with all those negative points, still managed to get two. All right. He got hey, two. He's, he's broken over, the positive. He's, guys. He's, he's in the positive. We're in the positives. You know, I feel pretty good about that. You know, you know. Charlie, please go to the swamp now. What? Go, go to the swamp. Where is it? Uh, I don't care. Mars. Just go. All right. Well, I'll just use my internal compass and go to Mars. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna end up. Don't forget to take your mic school. off. We used to just review movies on this show. We didn't even. Well, what we did things on this show before. Next time on Total Recall. There's a certain kind of sense you get out here in nature. You, you, you follow? You understand what the fuck I'm talking about, you dimwit? Well, I, 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 don't, I don't know where we're going, Mr. Reagan. You only need that, uh, that tree for a roadmap, Charlie. Let me show you. Come on. How do you read a tree? How do you read a tree? How do you read a book? I have Alzheimer's. I don't know. Take, take a listen. See, Charlie? You read the tree. You get it? Here, you draw. Okay. Just read the goddamn tree. Hold on, hold on. You need your training wheels. Whoa! There we go. Go for it. Is the ball thing really necessary? Hold on, tree's talking. That way. Let's go. Let's go, Charlie. Okay. Get sticks. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on, Charlie. Uh, Come on. on. Just run up over this ridge. Come uh, on. Hold on. Hold on. Get a hold of yourself, okay. Charlie. Yeah, I'm, I'm, ho- I'm holding. You understand? Charlie! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Watch out for the goddamn equipment. Okay. You hear me, Charlie? Are you paying attention? Yeah. Your next trial, the final trial, the one that matters. Okay. You're facing the scientist. Do you get what I mean here? Well, I, the scientist, Charlie. He's going to drain the swamp. The swamp! Well, let's drain the swamp. Why would you drain the swamp? Because, Charlie. That's our lineage. That's who we are. He wants to take you down and make you into nothing again. I, I don't want to be nothing. Not again, certainly. Charlie, you've got to beat the scientist, okay? Okay. So if you want to beat the scientist, yeah. let's shave you down, Shh. let's get you in that sexy outfit, and you'll be the king, okay? I, I get to be the king of the swamp? Yes, of the whole damn swamp. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that, m- m- Mr. Reagan. Then give me those balls. Let's get back to it. Uh, if you promise us I'll help me get there. They'll get one of us there, Charlie. They'll get one of us there. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Charlie, we came from that way, goddammit. We're going this way, come on. Up, up. Sorry, dude. <laughs>